Hey everybody, what's going on? Um, I'm gonna put some music on in the background and um, hang out for a minute here. It's one o'clock in the morning and um, I had a gig and a lot of, it's, it was a good gig. As I've shared with you folks before, um, there's that buzz that you get when you do well. And it's quite addictive and it's quite wonderful. Um, just want to just talk a little bit as I kind of come down after the gig. Um, I had shared with you that recently I was hired um, to sing some vocals, doo-wop kind of, you know, on this record by uh, the Strange Attractors, Matt Casera in particular. Um, I had met Matt before, but I didn't really know him, but we um, really hit it off during the recording, uh, and then he... Um, showed me more of his material and it's not unusual but the combination of Matt's personality and the variety of his songs really kind of hooked me and um, I started rehearsing with him and um, we did our first gig tonight um, in a small club called the Bar the Barley Street Tavern played with two other bands and it was it was a hit it was a great night uh, we played last and any more playing last is a, a drag because depending on the situation most people leave you know last band gets the leftovers you know and we had a crowd people stayed it was nice people actually came to see us play <laughs> um, and we played well I, I think that there will end up um, being some video from it a few mistakes as always it was our fir very first gig and we only had one rehearsal with the lead guitarist um, but the guy's a pro, Frank Prince. It was really fantastic, actually. Um, music just treats me well. I don't know. Uh, I could think of a lot of ways to put it. But doing music, playing it, creating it, listening to it, surrounding myself with music, it's just a real positive energy. It just is a good thing. You know, I checked to see, and I'm up over 6,500 subscribers, you know, and um, it's to the point now where um, I get a lot of this. It happened a lot tonight. People I don't know. Uh, I know you from YouTube. You know, hey, hey, you know, walking down the street. I mean, I'm Omaha, you know, I'm known in Omaha anyway, you know how it is, big fish in a little pond, and I'm not even a big fish, but I've been around long enough, you know, plus being, I'm a, you know, being who I am, a minority, black, you know, kind of stick out with what I've been doing, like I sort them, but I get a lot of love, people are very, very kind, whether or not it's genuine or not, the behavior is respectful and nice and most of it is actually very nice um, a woman who I had met years ago and forgot but Molly if you happen to see this that really was wonderful you know what you said to me you know that's a lot of love you know and then um, I was walking down the street and a couple of young guys I don't know who the hell they are and just but I, I know you from YouTube hey guy hey you you know, um, and then um, in conversation as I reacquaint myself with people, it is a constant. I watch you on YouTube, I watch on YouTube, I watch on YouTube. So I want to acknowledge uh, everyone and thank you um, for the love and the acceptance. Um, I really do feel it, you know, I do. Mostly I really feel it. I feel the genuine um, sentiment. Um, it does appear to me that m the majority of people really do get that all I'm doing is sitting here in my house talking. Uh, very honestly, you know, that's all I'm doing. And I think that uh, um, it's safe to say that most people get the fact that I'd rather do something decent than just be a slug or actually be out there 
creating problems. Um, far, I'm far from perfect, but I, I am consciously attempting to put something out that might be helpful to my fellow human beings as well as trying to help myself and I'm getting the feedback that most people get it and that it's coming across thank you thank God thank goodness you know you know um, everything you know life life's perspective and our views and how we do things ultimately is a choice especially after you come to understand that you have choice you know and it does seem that the low road or the sad road or the hate road or the unhappy road is the easier option to take or the road of distraction or uh, denial because it's some of my stuff just going in the background here those attributes of um, human behavior are just really prevalent um, in life you know uh, depression denial uh, sadness darkness you know you know I struggle with making the decision to not be there myself and so it's just all it's just a big part of what I'm trying to uh, share you know when it comes to information besides records you know I just keep trying to just share that I didn't make this up and it's nothing new but it does appear that it, it would be it's helpful when people share in you know a per perspective like this which is we have a choice people you know it's like you know the way that our lives are going is not written in stone you know the past is is a river that has flowed but the future is open and we can always take a second look at how we do things on automatic especially if the way we do things isn't to our satisfaction or somehow we're not happy or just things could be going better and just dealing with that has a lot to do with why I bring up the things that I do besides talking music you know I'm repeating myself but I do want to make sure to get it across that you know, I don't consider myself anything exceptional other than knowing that everyone is exceptional and I accept that about myself, that I am exceptional. You know, I'll claim that, you know. You can too if you want to because you are. If you don't know that you're exceptional, just, you know, take a different, take a new inventory, do it differently. But... I don't know, it just kind of seems like, you know, it's, I could, besides talk about records, I could always be updating you about certain sports and certain things in popular culture, but, you know, I'm, it's much more natural for me to kind of per talk about stuff that I'm perusing and thinking about and trying to understand better and, um, from a, from a point of view of uh, real, something real, something that's real and helpful. Okay, enough of that. So it just popped into my head because I keep forgetting. There's so many things I forget, but I wanted to share for those that know that I have had contact with Lazarus, Dwayne. Dwayne is still around, and Dwayne, if you happen to see this, uh, I, I'm ready. <laughs> I, I don't watch a lot of videos, but I do watch videos still. I do try to catch up and uh, you would be a welcome addition back to the fold of making videos seeing what you are up to guy really good to hear from you some of you old-timers um, and uh, I say that with great affection 
uh, that might be watching. I know Daddy Panix, I know you're watching. Much love to you up there in Boston, my friend. I know you'll remember Benny UK. I just heard from Benny UK. Um, he still watches my videos and saw that I had mentioned him recently and so he sent me a, a, a message. Warms my heart, people. These connections, you know, people I've never really met, you know, but the connection that we have is real, you know. Dwayne, Lazarus, you know, probably very different from me, you know, um, politically and stuff, but that don't even matter. This guy, we're brothers. Dwayne is my brother, you know. Um, Benny UK, you know, never met the man, but somehow he's one of those people. We're connected. That's that's my people over there in England, Benny. Same with Daddy Paniques, you know. <laughs> it's funny, Rob, I, I've never met you, and yet I swear I have a very clear picture of you with your impish devilish self up there <laughs> in Boston out there in the sun and having a good time aren't you my friend aren't you all the people that I don't stay in touch with regularly you're all just a big part of my life you are you know even when you don't see that I've watched your videos or get a comment from me this is real and you're constantly a part of my world Jen <laughs> Jen you know if I could if I could give all of you a big hug I would you know you know I don't even know who all to all shout out I'm you know People that pop up in my head because of the good feeling of spirit that we've shared. Raul, Raul Prado. Right away you come into my head. And anyone else that don't pop in my head, it's not because you don't mean anything. It's just you're not popping up now, but you're there. You know what I'm saying? Here's another one that just popped up. Daniel James Sellows Rigby. I hope that your treatment is going well, friend, you know? you know just a whole lot of love folks and um i want to just sincerely thank you thank you thank you and thank you again for your acknowledgement your love and your acceptance i return it this is real and it's a good thing that we are doing this rather than rather than just you know, I don't know if some of you folks that I love are out there acting like assholes. And I don't know it. I hope not. But this sentiment that I feel that we share, or I'm wanting to say that as part of what we share through, through being in the vinyl community, this is a positive thing. This is a healing thing. This is a... This is an effort to try and be on the upside, you know, up with people, you know. Let me just be real about it and say, you know, that I'm human and I have my aggravations, I have my issues, I have my anger, I have times when I want to curse people out and, and really read them the riot act like I know how to. But I refrain from it because it's just, that's what everybody's fucking doing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's going off on everybody. You don't hardly see people trying harder, you know? And so I'm trying to get what I want to receive, okay? This ain't easy. I just want you to know I could flip some shit on a whole lot of motherfuckers. Do you catch what I'm saying? Just a little bit more. I could bitch slap a whole bunch of people, you know. But it would be futile. And it would just add fuel to this massive fire of 
what I call grief and angst and um, swimming in shit that mankind is stuck in. So I'm just going to keep trying to make it, make the choice of trying to honor myself and therefore honor you, honor other people. We need it, folks. You know, you know, naysayers, come on with that shit. You people are full of shit. Come on. Look at it. What you're saying is the shitty part of you. Show, show us, stop showing us your shitty backside. Show another part. You know, um, I think that's a real thing to say, you know, uh, acceptance and trying to find tolerance and a way of getting along and making it easier for all of us to coexist. That's got to be a beneficial thing, better than just kicking the shit out of each other and talking about each other like dogs and taking advantage of each other like we do every day. Seems like that other option of helping each other seems like that really is a good choice that we're just not doing it's this lip service and this fake shit you know um, that's why I just say you know do what I can you know I do and um, is this an agenda yeah yeah it is you know am I because of the way that I see reality, am I challenging other people at this point to take a second look or take a look at what I'm looking at? Not because of me, but the idea of being a benefactor as opposed to just a slug. Maybe that's not what you are, but perhaps that would be how I would define <laughs> your life. Take a look at it, you know, and don't be offended. I'm just a guy. I'm a slug too, but I'm trying not to be one. You know what I'm saying? Man, you know, it's everything I can do to not just be a just a damn dirty dog. I, do you feel me? You know? So I'm going to end this by set, going back to the original intent of the video, which was to say thank you, everyone, for being real and nice and kind and and getting it getting what I'm trying to be because I could be a hateful motherfucker you know and it's there but I try to sh try to shine the light try to try to do the better thing of the two okay thanks a lot y'all here there's this music that